wish I'll have to explain your whole life span What you did in the open or what you can't see Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن صحيح الإمام مسلم Hadith Hudayfat ibn Asid al-Ghifari radiyallahu anhu He said one day we were sitting with the companions and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam appeared by all the sudden and he asked us what are you doing, what are you studying the companions answered by saying O Messenger of Allah we are talking about the hour the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the day of judgment or the hour will not come until you see Ten signs, Ad Dukhan, and he named Ad Dukhan the smoke, Ad Dajjal the Antichrist, Ad Dabba the beast, Tulu Ashamsi min Maghribiha the sun rising from the west, Nuzula Isa ibn Maryam the descendants of Isa alayhi salam, the second coming of Prophet Isa alayhi salam, Wa Khuruja Yajuj wa Majuj, and Yajuj and Majuj, and three landslides, one in the east, one in the west and one of the Arabian Peninsula and the last of the signs will be a fire that will erupt in Aden, in the middle of Aden that will drive people to their reckoning. Brothers and sisters in Islam, today we want to talk about one of the missions of Prophet Isa alayhi salam. We talked about his second coming in the last episode and today we want to talk about one of the things that he will handle is Ya'juj and Ma'juj. In Hadith al-Nawas ibn Sam'an al-Kilabi, radiyallahu an, and the Hadith al-Imam Muslim, the Hadith al-Sahih al-Imam Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that after Prophet Isa alayhi salam kills the Antichrist, people will come to him, Muslims, followers of the proper creed, will come to Prophet Isa alayhi salam, he will wipe over their heads and he will remind them of the ranks, their status in Jannah. And at this time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reveal to Prophet Isa alayhi salam that I have allowed, I have decreed for slaves of mine to exit, to be released. And no one can stand in their face. No one can stand in their ways. So take my servants, take the Muslims and seek refuge and protection in the mountain of At-Tur. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is talking about the two tribes of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about those two tribes in the Quran in two surahs, Surah Al-Anbiya and Surah Al-Kahf. In Surah Al-Anbiya, حَتَّى إِذَا فُتِحَتْ يَأْجُوجُ وَمَأْجُوجُ وَهُمْ مِنْ كُلِّ حَدَبٍ يَنْسِلُونَ وَاقْتَرَبَ الْوَعْدُ الْحَقِّ فَإِذَا هِيَ شَاخِصَةٌ أَبْصَارُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا يَا وَيْلَنَا قَدْ كُنَّا فِي غَفْلَةٍ مِنْ هَذَا بَلْ كُنَّا ظَالِمِينَ Until the time will come when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow Ya'juj and Ma'juj to be released and they will come down from all high hills and, and high uh, uh, the tops of the hills and at this time that, that disbelievers will recognize that this is the true promise that Ya'juj and Ma'juj are one of the major signs of the day of resurrection. Brothers and sisters in Islam, who are Ya'juj and Ma'juj? They are from the offspring of Adam alayhi salam. Yes, they are. Those two tribes are from the offspring of Adam alayhi salam. What is the evidence? Hadith Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu anh and the hadith in Sahih al-Imam al-Bukhari wa Muslim. In the day of resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call Abun Adam. Ya Adam! Allah, uh, Adam alayhi salam, our father will answer by saying, Labbayka wa sa'adayk wal khayru bayna yadayk. Answering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in so sweet, in a sweet way that uh, I'm responding to you and all goodness comes from you, O Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command Adam alayhi salam, أخرج بعث النار 
take out the dwellers of the hellfire from your offspring. Adam alayhi salam will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rab, wa ma ba'athu nar Who are the dwellers of the fire from my offspring? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will inform Adam alayhi salam, min kulli alfin, Listen to this carefully because the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reacted in a scary way and you should look at this out of each thousand of your offspring 999 999 will go to the hellfire that means what only one person will go to Jannah Ya Allah the companions looked at the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they said Ya Rasulallah wa ayyuna dhaka alwahid who's going to be this one Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Abshiru glad tiding from Ya'juj and Ma'juj 999 and from you one. That means that the majority of the people who will be the dwellers of the hellfire will be from those two tribes, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, because of the evil that they will cause in earth right before when they were placed behind a wall and even after they are released and after they find a way out and they exit. And we will explain this insha'Allah in this episode and the episode to come bi idnillahi ta'ala. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam continued giving the glad tiding to the companions who were concerned about that rate or that ratio. And he said, Wallahi, Wallahi inni la arju an takunu rub'a ahlil jannah. By Allah, I'm hoping that you're going to be quarter, one fourth of the dwellers of Jannah. The companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allahu Akbar. And then Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Wallahi inni la arju an takunu thulutha ahlil Jannah. By Allah, I make dua and I'm hoping that you will be third of the people of Jannah. And later on, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and I'm hoping that you will be half of the dwellers of Jannah. أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم. الشاهد or the important thing from this hadith, brothers and sisters in Islam, that يأجوج and مأجوج from the offspring of our father Adam عليه السلام. Because there is a fairy tale out there that they say that they are from another descendants. Listen, we all come from Adam عليه السلام. يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة O mankind, they are men, they are human being O mankind, have taqwa in your Lord who created you from one soul and from that soul he created uh, from that soul he created uh, the, uh, the, the mate or the wife and from it came the rest of humanity Brothers and sisters in Islam, what is the story of Ya'juj and Ma'juj? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that story in a surah that we are supposed to read at the time of these fitting or by reading that surah or by memorizing the surah or by reciting the first 10 verses and the last 10 verses and some wording or by reciting the whole surah it will actually become a protection to us against the uh, trials and tribulations that we are explaining which the Dajjal and the Antichrist and all of this Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala told us how did they exist and what their story and why they will be released at the end of time. The Quran and the Sunnah, they work together. But here is how the story started. Listen, and uh, the one who compiled that story is Muhammad ibn Ishaq, one of the very famous uh, uh, predecessors uh, who uh, was good in combining uh, tafsir and the events and especially uh, the, uh, the, the, the issues that have to deal with the uh, debates that happened between the Muslims and the non-Muslims at the time, the disbelievers in Mecca. Here is what he said. The disbelievers in Mecca at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after they given up dealing with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by force and, and they saw that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is impacting a lot of the people in Mecca they decided to attack him through a different way they said let's discredit the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in front of his followers and by doing so they will find out that he is not receiving any revelation from divine. So they sent two of the disbelievers to Medina, to the Jews, the people of the book in Medina, in Nadr ibn al-Harith, Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayt, to basically tell them, listen, we have this man, here is, they are referring to the Prophet Sallallahu who claims that he's a prophet, and he receives the revelations from the Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you are people of the book, can you help us out? Can you give us some hints 
How can we quiz him? How can we discredit him? So the Jews told those two disbelievers, go and ask him those three questions. Ask him about a group of young men who disappeared. They had a very interesting story and they disappeared. The Jews here, or Bani Israel here, are talking about the youth, the companions of the cave. And ask him about a man who toured earth. And this is, by the way, Mawda al-Shahid. Uh, somebody whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala empowered in earth and who made a lot of trips in earth. And ask him about ruh, the spirit. Here is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, here is the Prophet sallam. As soon as he was asked, these questions by the disbelievers, he told them, I will tell them you, I will answer you tomorrow. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet sallam, never to say this again. وَلَا تَقُولَنَّ لِشَيْءٍ إِنِّي فَاعِلٌ ذَلِكَ غَدَى إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ إِذَا نَسِيت Don't say tomorrow without saying, inshaAllah. Here is Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, the revelation was stopped for a period of time, but later on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the answers to these questions, two of them in uh, Surah Al-Kahf and the third one in Surah Al-Isra. The one that we deal with is the one that has to do with the man who toured earth. And they ask you, O Muhammad, about Dhil Qarnayn, a man whose name is Dil Qarnayn. Some people say that the man with the two horns, we don't want to get into the speculations of people there, but someone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala empowered in earth, and this person used that power. You see, there is no harm, brothers and sisters in Islam, of being empowered in earth, empowered through wealth, empowered through knowledge, empowered through IT, whatever power is out there, as long as utilize, as long as you utilizing this, you are utilizing this to serve the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to serve the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by doing so, you're helping your own self, and at the same time, you're helping the ummah. Here is the Qarnayn, a man whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala empowered in earth. We have empowered him in earth and we've given him a lot of means. But he did not stop there. Rather, he also added to the means that we bestowed upon him. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Dil Qarnayn made three trips or more, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recorded in the Quran three trips. One to the west, one somewhere else, and the third one where those two tribes were alive, Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Let's take a short break and come back and talk about the story of this king, Dil Qarnayn, with the two tribes, Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The scale of justice will be broke before man. Now you shall have to explain your